There's a man sitting right back here. He's suffering. He's got a tumor on his left lung. He doesn't he isn't from here. You have been a mind worker. That is right. I'm a total stranger to you. That's right. Shake your hand. The tumor's in your left lung and you're up for an operation right away. That's right. Hmm? You're not from here. You're from out of town. You're from Virginia. That's right. You believe God knows who you are? Mr. Mitchell? That's right. Go home and be well. Jesus Christ makes you whole. Ask the man. Never seen him in my life. He's sitting there free. This day, this scripture, the sign of Sodom, the sign of the super sea, the sign of the natural church, this day, this scripture is fulfilled in your midst. Do you believe it? Will you accept him right now as your Savior and healer? Stand up to your feet, every one of you. Say, I accept my healing. I accept him as my Savior. I accept him as my King. Each one, stand to your feet. One man doing what he's called to do. One man faithful and this light up on Sunset Mountain in the Carnotto forest of Arizona. What is this strange thing that happened up there? This is thus saith the Lord at the Scriptures, Zechariah 14. And it shall come to pass in that day. Hallelujah. In that day the light shall not be clear or dark but it shall be one day which shall be known to the Lord, not day or night, but it shall come to pass that in the evening time it shall be like Junior Jackson listening in. You remember the dream he had it on turpid, going towards the setting of the sun. And this happened on Sunset Mountain. It's the evening time. Sunset time. The sunset message. As you know, Life Magazine packed it last month over there. Where, how many were sure you're going to be telling about that what happened before it did? I think about every morning for sure. There it is. They don't know what it's all about. The scientists are trying to... Anybody got a picture to call in a cloud 26 miles high in the shape of a pyramid? Seven angels represented in there. Brought back and brought you the Word of God. Under the inspiration that tells you these hours that you're coming. Living. The spiritual mind will pick that right now. It's an exodus. We're going to leave one of these days. Three years ago, this mystery was a prophecy. What time is it, sir? But now, it's history. It's past. The promise is fulfilled. And the other day, standing there, turn the picture to the right, and there's Jesus as he was in the seven church ages, the white wig on, showing supreme deity. He's Alpha and Omega. He's the first and the last. He is the supreme judge of all eternity. Standing there to confirm the message of this hour. And there shall be light about the evening time. How many seen it? The white wig upon him as we talked in Revelation 1. The, the supreme Supreme deity, supreme authority. No other voice, no other God, no other nothing. In him dwells the fullness of the Godhead bodily. The angels themselves was his wig. Amen. It shall be light about the evening time. Right. The way to glory you will surely find in the waterway is the light today. Buried in the precious name of Jesus. Young and old, repent of all your sins. The Holy Ghost will surely enter in. 
the evening light has come. It is a fact that God and Christ are one. I am lonesome, oh so lonesome, far that far away southwest, where the shadows fall the deepest over the mountain crest. I can see a lurking coyote all around the purple haze. I can hear a lobo hollering down where the longhorns graze. Somewhere up a canyon, I can hear a lion whine in that far off Catalina mountain at the Arizona line. I went up in the mountain to hunt. There, Brother Fred and I, one morning when I walked down, I'd already got my javelina and I looked and seen the place where we went. I said, Brother Fred, go over on that mountain early in the morning now, about to break a day, and I'll get on the other. The sun is just coming up. I come around the other side of the hill, not thinking nothing about the prophecy. Sit down, waiting, resting. I thought, what happened to those hogs? And as I started to look, I seen a herd of hogs come out about a thousand yards from me up on the mountain. I told the bullheader down, I said, I'll get him. I'll go get Brother Fred and I'll hang up a piece of paper to let know which way to go on this old cotilla here. And we'll get Brother Fred and I started up the mountain running as hard as he could on the other side. All of us. I thought somebody shot me. I never heard such a blast that shot the whole country. And when it did, standing before me was seven angels in a cluster. There was that circle coming up from the earth like a mist forming. When it did, it went from up into the mountain, began to circle on westward from the way it come. Science found it at while, 30 miles high and 25 miles across, just exactly in the circle of the pyramid. I went westward upon that same mountain. Passing up with Banks Woods there, said, throw up a rock. Say to Mr. Woods, thus saith the Lord. You'll see the glory of God. The very next day, standing there, a whirlwind came down and blasted the mountains out. Rocks cut the top of the trees off, about three or four feet above my head. Made three big blasts. The brothers come run over. There was about 15 men standing there, preachers and everything else. What was it? I said, what was it? I said, judgment is striking the west coast. About two days after that, the earthquake almost sunk Alaska. The people had been driving east from west, picking up the rocks that laid around there, horse struck, and every one of every one rock has three corners on it that it tore off. The three are one. One morning, the Lord woke me up and said, Get up there, Mr. Beach, and said, I took a piece of paper and my Bible. The wife said, Where are you going? I said, I don't know. I'll tell you when I come back. I went up in the canyon, climbed from up where the eagles was flying around. I was watching some deer standing there. I knelt down to pray and raised up my hands, and a sword struck my hand. I looked around and I thought, What's that? I'm not beside myself. Here's that sword in my hand, bright, shiny, glistening in the sun. I said, now there's not people in miles of me way up here in this canyon. 
Where could that come from? I heard a voice that said, That's the king's sword. I said, A king knights a man with a sword. He, the voice come back said, Not a king's sword, but the king's sword. Amen. The word of the Lord. 